what Tony is doing is he's mixed the butter into the crumbs and the sugar and what else is in that? Cinnamon. Crumbs, sugar, and cinnamon. And now he is um, patting it up the sides and also on the bottom. Not too hard. One time he made it really, really hard and we could barely cut through it with a fork. You don't want that kind of, you don't want to cut that kind of crust. Okay. So, while this is mixing, oh no, my iPad went off again. I can't really remember stuff. So, 15 ounce can, pureed pumpkin, three eggs plus one yolk, right? So, I put the pumpkin puree in there, and now I'm gonna turn the um, speed up just a little and apply the eggs one at a time. You'll have to show it and hold it over there real close. Yeah, it looks good. And then set that aside for a second. Last egg going in. Salmonella bowl back in the because it starts to separate and it kind of looks bad. Oh no! It especially looks bad when it goes on the floor and the dogs lick it up. Looks bad later when it comes down. All right, one quarter cup <coughs> sour cream. Where are you going? I'm just gonna see. Okay, so gotta turn this off. Put the sour cream in because you have to hold it down here. And what you don't want to happen is for the little mixer to knock the sour cream off, and then and the sour cream the thing off, and not in there, and you break the mixer. Oh yeah. You can take one of these dirty spatulas. <laughs> There's shit all over the floor. Well, we have two vacuum cleaners, Fred and Ginger, that are helping keep everything clean. <laughs> all right, now, gonna mix this again. Mix that in. Sour cream, sugar, how much sugar do we got? One and a half cup sugar, so, if I use my half cup again, oh no! I bought more flour and I probably shouldn't have bought more flour because we didn't really need it, but I bought it anyway. Is this thing recording? Yep, that's okay. what the little red dot means. Okay. And right there where it says R E C record. Know what that means? Okay. So we want one and a half cups of sugar. So the way that I do that is again, I'm crazy. So I just get a half cup and you can apply it to apply, the mixture. Not add, apply. Apply it to the mixture a little at a time, which actually I have found helps it to mix better. One, two. Especially when you apply it to the countertop <laughs> instead of to the bowl. Now it's been applied to the floor. <laughs> Shut up! Why you gotta be so mean? Okay. That's mixing now. What else do we need? I'm gonna turn this down to stir. Just for a moment. Excuse me, that was a Chinese buffet. Um, sugar and spices. The spices. What are the spices? Now, the last time I made this, I put too much of one of the spices in it. An accident. A delicious accident. So, did you put that in the refrigerator? I don't need that anymore. The spices are, we need a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. So here's the Kroger brand ground cinnamon again. You see that? Yep, there we go. We need a half a teaspoon of that. I think, right? Yeah. Half a teaspoon ground cinnamon. Done. Put that up. Then we need an eighth a teaspoon, not black pepper. <laughs> that would be bad. Eighth teaspoon of fresh ground nutmeg. Okay. 
Eight teaspoon. Done. Oh, I said that was a close. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> but luckily, we only need an eighth of a teaspoon of cloves, so that's already applied to the mixture. And now, here is an eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. Did I put the nutmeg in there twice? Good. Did I put the nutmeg in there twice? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So. Flour. Vanilla extract. Two tablespoons <clears throat> of all-purpose flour. Not two cups like you thought this it was. This is a tablespoon. And that's sugar. Don't put that in there again. It'll be real sweet. All right. Two tablespoons. Luckily, there are no weevils in our flour. One. Level it off. Probably didn't really need to do that. I just did it. Done. Teaspoon of vanilla oh. extract. <clears throat> and then a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now, I am going to hold it over here like this. You see that over there? That's Ginger trying to get into the garbage. <laughs> but Ginger. <she> can't. <laughs> get out of the garbage. All right. <clears throat> Salmonella is done. Did we do everything? Beat together until well combined. Beat. Doing the Fred. Okay. That's good. Now. A bunch of the spices right here. <laughs> Maybe I should clean off this and make sure that all the ingredients actually get into the batter part. What's it called? Paddle scraper? Something or other? <coughs> anyway. It's a little bit wider and it's got a rubber flap on it and it scoops the sides. Gets the side scrape. I'm going to pump this real fast one time. Well combined. Touch the iPad. Huh? Hammer. Oh. See, if you sing to it, it goes fast. Okay. Now, next thing. Put this in the crust. Can you see the crust? Before it has to go into the oven for one hour. Remember the oven is 335 degrees because our oven burns 15 degrees hotter but normally it would be 350 degrees. I'm putting it on the top shelf for no particular reason. Timer. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Shit! I don't know how to run this thing. 335. It's already done. <laughs> Timer set. One hour. Start. Okay, it's going. Now, through the magic of our cheap camera, we actually have already made one of these cheesecakes. And as you can see, it's half gone. <laughs> so, we're going to have a bite now. Thank you. Thank you, Paula Dean.